That's not soap, by the way. It's maple syrup. Why? Are you using a plunger to unclog the shake machine, as in the same plunger we used to unclog the toilet? Uh, no. I didn't know, maybe everyone else did, that you guys had had a falling out that you that you talk about too in your book. Keenan wants nothing to do with him, and that Keenan like refuses to work with him. Why? I think that's because Kel was the actual famous one. After their fallout in the early 2000s, Keenan and Kel had their first reunion in 2015. It happened on the set of The Tonight Show when Kel Mitchell and Jimmy Fallon made a sketch of the iconic Good Burger film. Keenan appeared as one hangry construction worker. Seven years later, Keenan and Kel appeared on The Tonight Show again, and this time, they had some exclusive news. The duo announced the sequel to Good Burger, and Jimmy being a true Good Burger fan was ecstatic. The crowd went while too. Burger home and a good burger, part two! So, if everyone wanted a sequel so badly, why did they wait 25 years? Oh, welcome back, Keenan. Uh, Kel, uh, we got a lot to talk about here. According to Kel Mitchell, he and Keenan Thompson wanted to make a sequel the day after the release of the 1997 cult classic. However, the unforgettable comedy duo faced major obstacles. When Keenan Thompson was promoting Good Burger 2 on the Today Show on NBC, he opened up about his falling out with Kel Mitchell. I didn't know, maybe everyone else did, that you guys had had a falling out that you that you talk about too in your book, which this yeah, was this I was mean, for years. It was more of a separation that kind of grew into the traditional terms of what a falling out is, which is like not a lot of communication. Originally, it was just us kind of looking at our own individualism, basically as adults, taking a breather from being a duo because we both came into the game as individuals. Keenan and Kel worked so well together that producers wanted them in everything. It wasn't just Good Burger. Some fans may even remember Mavis and Clavis, the two grumpy old black men that Kel and Thompson played on Nickelodeon. I'm Clavis, and this is my good friend Mavis. After releasing Good Burger in 1997 on a tight $8.5 million budget, it made almost $24 million at the box office, making it an instant hit. Kel said 90s kids still call out to him in public with the popular Ed catchphrase, Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Also, the true fans of the original Good Burger know that Ed and Dexter didn't stop in 1997. From 1996 until 2000, they starred in Nickelodeon's Kenan and Kel sitcom. Basically, Kenan and Kel did the show from the age of 17 until 21. The strange thing is, in all of their years on the screen, the two have never had a fight. They were such good friends that if Kenan started a joke, Kel would finish it and buy vice versa. After a decade of almost no communication, all it took to reconcile was a quick five-minute phone call that both Keenan and Kel kept postponing. Keenan said, when you have a real friendship, it was five minutes into the phone call, we were back. It was like, what were you waiting on all this time? A real friendship, yeah. it was five minutes into the phone call, we were You're back. back, back. To it yourselves. was like, what were we waiting on all this time? You just never really know until you actually have that talk. It was also time wasted, which is one of the biggest crimes I think you can do in life. It's just waste time. Good Burger 2, released this November, takes place 26 years in the future. Dexter quits Good Burger and aspires to become a rich business owner, while Ed remains loyal to Good Burger, marries Roxanne, and they have three children together. That we know of. Also, the Burger Mobile is back, and this time, Ed and Dex are taking on another soulless corporation that's looking to replace fast food workers with robots. Clearly, a lot of time has passed since the first and the second Good Burger. So, besides their falling out, what happened with Keenan and Kel in the past two decades? Born on August 25, 1978, this Chicago native has been in show business since the age of 15. Kel Mitchell started his career with Nickelodeon, but after the Good Burger and the Keenan and Kel sitcom, Mitchell's been very busy. Today, at age 45, he has a net worth of almost $500,000 and countless roles under his belt. Some of the most prominent include T-Bone on Clifford the Big Red Dog from 2000 until 2003. He was so good that he was nominated for two Emmy Awards. Kel also had a recurring role on 101. He played Dutch on Motor City. And how can we forget Double G from Game Shakers? Some of his most prominent movie appearances included Like Mike 2, The Adventures of Honey and Bullwinkle, as well as Honey Dripper. Behind cameras, Kel's been married twice since 1999. His first wife was Taisha Mitchell. The couple got married in 1999, and she helped Mitchell by creating videos for KBL or Kel Videos Live. 
the couple had two children, but unfortunately after six years of marriage, they split up in 2005 and the divorce was messy. After dragging the case on five years, Kell demanded his wife pay him $12,300 for quote, abuse of the legal system. Taisha, on the other hand, said Kell owed her $1.5 million because his reckless behavior set her back $1.3 million. Even after the divorce was finalized in 2010, they were tied up in litigation until 2023. In 2012, while the lawsuits were getting resolved, Mitchell met and married Asia Lee. The couple is still going strong and they have two children together, a girl born in July 2017 and a boy born on October 2020. From both marriages, Kill has four children, two sons and two daughters. Even though he was balancing a family and a career, Kell still found the time to write a book, Bless Mode. 90 Days to Level Up Your Faith hit the shelves on December 14, 2021, capitalizing on the Christmas season hype. Forgetting about his comedic background, Kell wrote a book on faith in a serious yet relatable tone so both children and adults can enjoy it. As the middle child in a family from Ohio, Kenan Thompson was born on May 10, 1978. Ever since he was a little boy, Kenan was in love with acting. He used to participate in the church and school plays. When Kenan was a teenager, he got his acting debut in a CNN show called Real News for Kids. After that, he was part of the main cast in All That. Interestingly enough, a sketch from All That inspired the iconic Good Burger movie, which was turned into a show later on. Kenan also voiced a minor role in Fat Albert and Sit Down Shut Up. While getting numerous TV and movie gigs on the side, his main income came from Saturday Night Live. He joined the cast in 2003 and has remained with them for the past 20 years. At age 45, Kenan Thompson has a net worth of $13 million, the majority of which was generated by the countless SNL episodes. Being a comedic genius, Thompson has been nominated six times for a Primetime Emmy Award. While there have been 13 million positive sides to starring on SNL, Kenan also made some quasi-enemies. For example, Steve Harvey isn't too fond of Kenan's impressions. The Family Feud host even joked that he wants half of his paycheck because, as Steve puts it, I'm half of the reason you're here, referring to Kenan's impression of Steve Harvey on SNL. Kenan Thompson coming up, who's been the longest running host. Kenan's career is alive and well because of me. Moving away from the glitz and glamour of showbiz, we see a different side of Thompson. In his private life, the comedian has been married to model and interior designer, Christina Evangeline, since 2011. Their first daughter was born in June 2014, while their son was born four years later in August 2018. Being a loving and caring father, we thought Kenan and his wife were still in the honeymoon phase 10 years into their marriage, but things aren't always as they seem. Kenan's so-called brother and co-star on SNL, Chris Red, went behind his back and had an affair with Christina. While Kenan and his wife were having trouble, Red was the shoulder Christina cried on. Before long, Christina and Chris were having an affair while her marriage with Thompson was falling apart, or at least that's what the media would have us believe. When Thompson attended the Times Square Hard Rock Hotel in 2022, he had no wedding ring. This prompted all sorts of rumors to start circling in the media, one of which made Chris Red and Evangeline cheaters. But this couldn't be farther from the truth. Keenan revealed in 2022 that he and his wife have separated separated in 2019, they were co-parenting for three years before finalizing the divorce. When Evangeline and Red started dating, Kenan was out of the picture. As he says, there is no bad blood between him or his co-star, but we don't think they're too close either. Kenan is moving on and focusing on his career. His most recent projects include Trolls Band Together, Bros, and of course, Good Burger 2. This December, Thompson published his memoir, When I Was Your Age. Project a memoir. It's called When I Was Your Age, Life Lessons. Where he outlines his life in show business and how a guy stole his first million dollars. Keenan also shares his views on the falling out with Kill, as well as his marriage with Christina. Basically, Keenan shows us a side of him that we've never seen before. If you'd like to take a trip down memory lane and find out more about Black celebrities and their lives, subscribe to our channel.